It is now my great pleasure to introduce you to a person who is helping make a statement through the growth of a dynamic sports program. Dubbed the fastest woman alive, three-time Olympic medalist Carmelita Jeter joined the track and field coaching staff at Missouri State University on August 29, 2018. She was promoted to associate head coach in July of 2019. Jetter holds three of the top 10 fastest times ever run in the women's 100 meter dash. Her personal best is 10.64 in the 100 meter dash set in 2009. That's the second fastest mark ever in that event. She won three gold medals at the World Championship and two more in the World Athletic Finals between 2007 and 2011. She earned her degree in kinesiology from Cal State Dominguez Hill in 2005 after a successful collegiate career in which she became the university's first U.S. Olympic trials qualifier. Jetter went on to become the most decorated track and field athlete in the history of the school. Please help me to welcome Carmelita Jetter. Hello, hello. I'm so honored to be here speaking to you today and I know you're thinking, what is Coach Jet gonna say to me today? Well, pretty much, I'm just going to give you a real honest speech, something that you can take away with you. I hope you take bits and pieces and you write it down on a piece of paper in real life and watch it glow. Carmelita Jeter, fastest woman alive, right? But I was once sitting in seats just like you, trying to figure out how the first day of college was going to go. Was I going to make friends? Would they like me? All of those things that are going in your head, especially if you were in high school and you were the captain or you were the queen or the king or maybe you got the best dress. You know, tomorrow, none of that matters. Tomorrow, it's all different. Tomorrow, you'll walk into classes with people that'll have on Missouri State basketball or football or t-shirts like that. They won't even be really dressed up. Tomorrow starts a day where your character comes into place. This is how people will judge you now. They won't judge you on your sneakers or if your hair is braided really cute or if you got a couple highlights in there. No, they're gonna judge you on how you treat people on how you say hello to someone when you walk in the room, how you speak to everyone. That's what you'll be judged on now, not on the things that you thought was most important in high school. That's the negative now. Now you're judged on being a great person. Is this journey starting tomorrow gonna be easy? Oh, of course not. I'm just gonna be honest with you. It's gonna be hard, it's gonna have trials and tribulations. For some of you, it's gonna be extremely easy. You'll meet friends, you'll do great on the basketball team, the soccer team, the baseball team. But for some of you, it will seem like, what's happening, what's going on? Why isn't it falling into place for me? If college was easy, there will be so many more people sitting out there than it is right now. If this journey was going to happen overnight, this whole stadium would be full of people. But it's not going to happen overnight, and it's going to take a sacrifice. And you're thinking, well, Coach Jet, what sacrifice am I going to have to take in college? Simple. If you play a sport, you're going to have to sacrifice hanging out, going out with your friends, not being able to get up to go to practice like you're supposed to. If you're a person that's not doing sports, guess what? You still have to sacrifice those things because you have tests, you have finals. Four years of sacrifice is the only way you're gonna make it to the finish line. If you think you're gonna be able to play around for four years, you're gonna be here for six and seven. 
And for some of you, four years might come, but for some of you, it might take five years. It might take six years. The end goal is to graduate. For some of you, you're probably thinking, well, Missouri State wasn't my first choice. And you're sitting there with your hands crossed because you kind of didn't really want to be here. And I was once that student who sat at Cal State Dominguez Hills, a Division II school, because I thought I was so much better. But that was the school that chose me. That was the school that saw all of my talent and knew that I could be great one day. So the school I didn't want to go to, I ended up being CCAA Athlete of the Year, NCAA Athlete of the Year, most decorated athlete ever. And I did it at a school I didn't really want to go to. Because once I got there, once I got a chance to meet everyone and learn everyone and see how amazing the school was, it turned into my home. It turned into where I belonged. Now I'm here at Missouri State University and I'm coaching on the track and field team. Who would have thought I would have made it here? Who would have thought I would have been at Missouri State? Me? Because I believe in me? Because I know what I'm capable of doing? And so as you go into tomorrow, I need you to write down your goals. What are you capable of doing this first year? What do you want to do? What do you want to accomplish? Because it's not going to just fall out the sky and land. You have to write it down on real paper in real life and watch it happen. That doesn't just go for sports. That goes for grades. That goes for friends. That goes for life. The journey starts tomorrow. The question is, will you pass or fail? Will this, what we're doing for you right now, motivate you to walk into that classroom and know that you belong? Know that you're supposed to be here. Know that you were chosen to be a bear. As you're going through this four-year journey and you're sitting around and you're looking at everyone, when it's time to graduate, oh yes, I'm speaking that into existence because that's gonna come. Some people that you're sitting with will not be there because only the strong will survive. The weak will be eaten alive. <laughs> As you walk out of here today, I want you to know that we are rooting for you to finish. We are rooting for you to be successful. Everyone at this school plays a huge part in the next four years of your life, or five. And please use everyone here. Go into their office hours, talk to them. If you're someone that at any time is going through a problem and you need someone to speak to, go over to majors, let it out. This journey is not gonna be quick, it's not gonna be easy, but when I tell you, when you walk across that stage in four years, it's gonna be worth it. all the naysayers, all the doubters, all the people that said you would never make it, that's who you do it for. And you hit them with a, whoa. <laughs> now that I'm here at Missouri State, guess what? I am just like you, I'm getting my graduate degree in professional studies so I know how it is to stress and finals and all that. Yes, clap it up. Yeah. 
I know how it feels to stress. I know how it feels to worry about that test. But the same way that I'm going to be walking across that stage smiling and waving, you will one day also do that. Please write down your goals. Write down the things that you want to accomplish this year on real paper in real life and watch it glow. My name is Carmelita Jetter and I am a bear. <laughs>